Unsolved 1999, the case of 20-year-old O'Neill Anthony Layla. O'Neill Layla was shot at a party at a flat at 16 Dickens House, Kilburn, on the 15th of August 1999. He was shot at about 3am in the flat whilst attending a party, and afterwards staggered out onto the second floor balcony and tried to escape, but was chased and shot dead as he lay on the ground. He had been shot three times. Two men with their faces covered to varying degrees, with only their eyes showing, entered the flat and shot O'Neill Lalo in cold blood. The men were seen to flee afterwards. It was thought that his killer had been a young black youth who may have been helped by an accomplice. O'Neill Layla was taken to Northwick Park Hospital, where his post-mortem found that he died from gunshots to the head. The police said that they came up against the wall of silence during their investigation. They took statements from about 100 people. The gun that was used to kill him was later traced to a man that had previously given 16 Dickens House as his address when he had been arrested some weeks before the murder. The man and two other men were arrested in relation to O'Neill Layla's murder, but they all either denied it or made no comment interviews. It was noted that the police said that they had intelligence to suggest that they had been in the area at the time and knew that one of them had recently been involved in an altercation with O'Neill Layla. The investigation into his murder was called Operation Power Stock. O'Neill Layla had been a student from Jamaica, having arrived a year earlier, and his parents lived overseas. Although he was new to the area, he was known by many of the residents for selling barbecue food near the estate shopping precinct. Nothing more is known about why he was shot or whether there are any more suspects, and his murder remains unsolved to this day.